Hello and welcome to Monmouth. I'm back on the road doing the golf clubs in Monmouthshire. I've never been here before, which I suppose is uh, a crime in itself. It's about 125 years old, so it's not a long course, but it has a reputation for being a tight course, so there's no gimme holes out here. But um, let's go play it and find out just how tough and how tight it is. What I like about these old courses is um, they were built before diggers and bulldozers. So they only moved the minimum amount of earth to make a tee and make a green up the top of the hill there. So the rest of it is very, very natural, just like it was when the glaciers uh, disappeared 10,000 years ago. I'm looking forward to this. You gotta see this hole. Back uphill again. This is one of the features of this golf course is you're forever going up and down. And that's one of those horrible pop-ups that's gone absolutely nowhere. I've really got to get rid of that shot. Can't see where this is finished. When I get to the green, it is rather long. It's a bit disappointing. Now I'm not going to be brave enough to say if I'd actually hit a decent drive I would make a par here, but I would have had a better chance. Two over after three? That's not what you call a great start. I've got 225 to the water there at the bottom of the hill. As I'm slapping it, I decide that a four iron would be just perfect. And then I completely button it. And it's wet.
So what I've done here, I've taken the point of entry and drawn a line back with where the flag is and I've dropped far enough back so I can actually get some elevation on this. But as I'm on a downslope, there won't be much. That's gone like a bullet. Just like the tee shot. Still didn't make it up there, but to hit a decent 4-iron and a really decent 5-iron is good news. A little pop-up chip. Not bad. Wouldn't want to take it back and have another go. That's close enough for me. Not a bad bogey in the end. Do you know what? I can't get into this round. I can't get settled down. Because I didn't warm up and then I started badly. I'm trying to fix my problems as I'm playing golf. This is why you should warm up. I really don't understand people who don't warm up before the round. And then the first five holes are your driving range. You're trying to fix your problems and your score can be a bit shit. <sighs> oh well, let's carry on. up bloody hellfire Well, the reputation of this golf course is intact of being one tight, difficult SOB. What I didn't know was it was going to try and kill me. Jeez, did I, did I just come up from down there? Good grief. Oops. Stroke index one, just take the three wood. I'm just going to hit a bullet shot straight at that tree, basically. Yeah, the swing's looking better now. 
Now the green is just round the corner. I can hardly see any of it. I've had a good walk forward. So I need to hook this 7-iron to get anywhere near this green. And that's took off. I mean, really took off. Chance of a par from here is virtually nil. I'm just not getting that little bit of luck you need at the moment, am I? That's, that's eight holes done, isn't it? So um, I'll say cheerio here. That seven iron from out of the rough really jumped. I mean, it was, I mean look, look where my bag is. It was all the way up here. Yeah, I hit that. What did I have? Something like 146, so 50. 60. Yeah, it's, it's gone the thick end of 170 yards, that seven iron. That was a real jumper. Right, I'll catch you in part two after we've completed the ninth. I think I'm running out of shots. <laughs> Bit of trouble here. I don't know where I'm going. There's a lot of divots on the tee which are pointing over the corner of the, Le the Leylandi tree. So people are hitting irons. Um, but it's 346 yards, so how are they hitting irons? I'm going to try the hybrid and I'll just follow the line of the divots and hope for the best. That's an absolute peach. I just gotta hope it's the right bloody direction. <laughs> 